Good morning. It's literally 4 p.m. Must need. I noticed in like TikToks, people like tap their sodas before they open them. And I swear that was easier to open. I don't know if they do it for the ASMR because it makes it easier to open, but I swear that was just easier to open. Welcome to this video. I don't know what this video is, okay? Don't ask me. You'll probably already know because I have to come up with the title somehow. I just got back from my week, well, was a little longer than a week actually, trip yesterday. And we leave for Canada next Saturday. I thought I had more time in between trips. I do not. Little stressed. For what? For no reason. I don't actually have like that many things to do in between. Anyways, naturally after a trip, I would do a lot of cleaning, but my husband like took care of the house. So there's not really any cleaning to do. I just did my laundry from the trip. So we'll go put away my laundry. And I was low key thinking I want to go through my closet because I'm out of hangers. So like instead of buying new hangers, let's just get rid of clothes I don't wear. So let's go through my closet actually. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, my fan like makes a weird noise. So I have to turn that off. This book, In Ember in the Ashes, underrated. It's so good. I'm on chapter 24. I'm doing audiobook. Um, okay, here's my closet. I haven't done a closet clean out mm, probably like three years. Other than like the occasional donation, like probably three years. So I have a lot. I have a lot and I only wear maybe like 10% of my outfits. I also am thinking of doing like full up, like literally trying everything on and like taking pictures of everything. Wait, isn't there like an app for that? Hold on, let me let me do some research. Okay, if I push through and actually do this, this is going to be so good. I'm using a closet and it also has an AI assistant that like makes outfits for you. I don't know if they're actually gonna be good or not, but you can also make your own outfits. But you just digitally, digi digitally upload everything. And this is gonna take me forever because I have so many clothes, but I'm also gonna be doing a clean out as we go. So yeah, I should probably get like a bucket or something to have like a donation pile. Oh, I have this bag. We'll start with this bag. I don't really know the best spot to put you guys. Let me open my windows also. Should I take ev like everything out of my closet off the hangers, like go buck wild? Why did I just, I don't know, why did I say that? I'm also probably gonna get hot. I should put like a t-shirt on. <laughs> a lot of work but I just took pictures of all of my long sleeve shirts and I have a pile that I got rid of so we're going good doing good doing good we're doing well I don't know grammar um, now I'm gonna move on to jackets and dresses this one's a little harder for me because I always want to keep every dress because even if I wear it once in the year it's worth having but I just have way too many for no reason the hardest part for me is actually gonna be t-shirts I have a lot of t-shirts but let's do the dresses so there's also yeah there's a lot of jackets in here as well um, so we'll just kind of go through everything. Also, some of the stuff is more like swimsuit cover-up vibes. And I don't really want to get rid of those. I'm also like, what about the dress that I like got married in? Not my wedding dress, but like my elopement dress. Maybe I'll go put that in the same area as my wedding dress, keep it separate. But this is like half my closet and there's so much for no, literally no reason. I do not wear all of it. Ugh. Oh my gosh. This is like way more than I thought. I think if it's like one time wears, like I have this beautiful red dress, which would be really cute for like a Valentine's Day type of thing. I'll go put it in my other closet by my wedding dress. So then I have my like elegant dress section. This is so pretty. And I was gonna wear it for the bloody Valentine party, but I wasn't confident enough to wear it, but I feel like I could probably wear it. Oh, I'm like really actually out of breath. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna take a picture of this. Oh, that wasn't even the whole thing. Oh, okay, and then I'll just lay this on the bed because I need to take it somewhere else. <sighs> Wish me luck on this part. I'm gonna get rid of this. We're trying to get rid of more and more stuff. Oh, this is so cute, but I've had it for so long and I like never wear it anymore. So if I never wear it anymore, I literally probably haven't worn it in like two years, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I should keep it. No, 
we're getting rid of it. Oh, I forgot I have this. See, this is why I need to take pictures of everything and be more organized, because this is adorable. I used to wear this like every day. A little thick, but it does get cold here in the winter, so. Okay, can the seek part like stay open? I also have a code if you guys want to buy anything from this company. I always have it in my description. And then like I have some stuff, like I don't really wear this anymore, but this is my o one of my OG merches. So I guess I should take a picture of the back. So I have to keep it. I don't really ever wear it. Maybe I should mm, start wearing it. Never wore this. This was for my wedding. But once again, this was one of my like elegant dresses. I feel like I should keep these dresses because I like never buy this kind of stuff. Okay, I never wear these. So I've gone through all of my top shelf clothes. I still have all my short sleeve shirts that I have down there. We'll go through in a second. I'm like, whew, dying. Uh, so now we're gonna kind of organizely, organizely, whatever, put them away. I'm kind of thinking anything that's like a winter dress or a jacket, like a cardigan, could go towards the back since I don't need them right now. And all my like summer dresses can come to the front. <laughs> Halfway, I just pulled out some shirts to get started on taking pictures of all of the short sleeve shirts um, This is all my donation pile stuff and I was like, what did I get myself into? So I sat on the couch for like an hour just watching TikTok and stuff I'm like exhausted, but I need to keep pushing through Honestly, I don't know if there's more or less shirts I think there's less stuff that I'm gonna get rid of which means taking more photos So we just need to get going on this I also forgot I had this entire pile of get rid of clothes that's been in the back of my closet for probably a year. So I guess I did do a closet clean out sooner than I thought. Um, anyway, I'm going to listen to a podcast because I really couldn't focus on the book and like think at the same time. So cool. Let's get to it. massive spider like this big that just crawled out okay this is your sign to clean your closet i'd literally clean it vacuum it there's a massive spider where it's on my shirt the it's on like the bottom of this well that was literally traumatic if you don't know i have like really bad arachnophobia like i'll even just standing here i'm freaking out i'll probably have a nightmare tonight um yeah it's bad so the fact that that was just in my clothes, like in the clothes that I frequently wear, like just back in my closet, it wasn't in like a pile. That was really scary, but that's all the clothes I have left to take pictures of. Well, all the shirts I've left. And I do have these clean laundry clothes that I need to do as well. Um, and then I have all my pants, which I'm not, I'm not even gonna try to do that. Probably anytime soon, honestly. Okay, that looks a little better. Um, anyways, I'm so scared. But I took a massive break, went and picked up my groceries, and then had my brother over and we had like little grill nights. Me, my husband, and my brother had some burgers and some hot dogs and stuff on the grill. It was really nice, really good evening overall. Uh, but I do want to finish this tonight because I'm trying to sleep in here tonight. Actually, I literally might do sleepover party in the basement watching a movie because I'm too scared to sleep in here. That's how bad it is, yup. Okay, Phoenix, Griffin, we need to have a discussion. But he literally, he's like, yes. Phoenix, you guys are supposed to eat the bugs so mommy doesn't have to be scared of the bugs. And I really need you to pick it up because that should have never even gotten that big. You should have ate it when it was a baby. So from now on, rent is due for you guys. And rent for you is eating bugs. Anyways, I immediately ordered like bug killer on Amazon. I hadn't sprayed my house since it's been warm. Usually my dad my whole life has come over and sprayed for me. So I never had this problem, but he told me what to buy, bought it. So I will be spraying my house for bugs soon. Anyways, let's try to finish this. I'm so scared. We have a problem. I was doing my closet clean out and then I look into my husband's closet and I found black mold in the ceiling. So we've had a leak and 
obviously. So there's black mold. And so we need to figure out what we're going to do, get someone out here to fix that and the leak, figure out where the leak's coming from, all that stuff. So I thought it was the best thing so he doesn't get sick because he has been kind of sick recently and I low-key think it's because his closet has black mold in it. So I'm washing all of his clothes and we just moved everything out of it during the first load and where we're getting to uh, get this situation figured out. Anyway, so I cleaned up my closet perfect timing because now we're gonna share my closet for now. Perfect! Home ownership. It's the next day. Uh, not me in my pajamas at 6 p.m. because I've been so busy, busy, I don't know. So because I was like doing the room and the clothes and everything, I ended up deep cleaning pretty much my entire house. And then a friend was in town, so we were with our friend for a little bit, but um, let me just show you. Donate, 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 donate. So much clothes. I was so excited to be like, look how organized my closet is now, but no. Then all of the sudden, if you know that TikTok sound, uh, these are all my husband's clothes. Luckily, he doesn't have that many, like only goes to like right there. And then the bottom's mine and the other side is mine. But because we found the black mold and we're dealing with that situation, in this closet, it is sealed off. So nothing's in there. I washed all of his clothes and we went through, washed all of his clothes, put all of his clothes back up. We still need to go through his clothes. I was gonna help him go through his, but that might just be a later date thing because I ended up deep cleaning the entire house for some reason, but at least the house is clean. So now all I need to do is actually go take all those clothes to Goodwill. I could go through them and like do some selling, take some to Play-Dohs, but they're all like winter clothes. So I think I'm just gonna donate them. A lot of them are kind of old too, so. I'll probably just donate them. Um, and then I will feel so like I already feel like a weight is lifted off my shoulder just knowing I don't have a bunch of clothes in my closet that are like old or have holes or um I haven't worn in like three years and I kept saying, Oh, I'll wear this. Let me give it I kept doing this thing where I was like, Well, I'll give it one more winter if I go through my clothes in the summer and it's a winter clothes. And if it's a summer clothes and I go through my clothes in the winter, then I'm like, I'll give it one more summer. But then I do that continuously. Uh, I don't have my phone, but I literally have like 200 pictures of all of my shirts. I'm not, I haven't gone through my pants yet. That's probably going to be like next year. Next year we'll go through pants. <laughs> but uh, the app that I was using only lets you do a hundred before you have to pay a monthly subscription. That's criminal. Why does everything have a subscription? You know how people say there's like tip fatigue? I feel like I've been having subscription fatigue because every single app has a subscription these days and I'm I'm this close to losing it. Okay. Um, why am I holding my tripod like a microphone? I don't know. Anyways, I'm yapping. What am I trying to say? I need to find an app where I can actually upload them all. It was going pretty good though. It had like the background mover and all that, but if I'm not taking pictures of my pants yet, I can't put together outfits. It's essentially just to find all my shirts. And then I'm like, I don't know how often I'll actually use a digital closet. Like I feel like I say I'll use it and then I won't, but I need to find an app where you don't have to pay and you can upload more than 100 photos so I'll keep you updated look what arrived the important stuff to kill all the bugs I will do that later can this go lower there we go I'm gonna do that later though. I volunteered my services, me, my cleaning skills, since this is a cleaning video somehow on accident, to go help my brother deep clean his house because he's also going to Canada. I guess he has a new roommate moving in, so he wants the house really clean before he leaves, and he leaves before me. Anyway, basically, I'm going over there to help him clean, and I also got him a burger. We went to my favorite restaurant and ordered him something. So I'm gonna go take it over there. Here are the goods. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I walked in and I had my sunglasses on still and Log's usually in his room. I walk in through the garage and I was about to go, hello, and he like poked his head out of nowhere and I just screamed so loud. I was in the laundry room, about to grab my laundry. <laughs> Literally so scared. Oh, anyways. done clean house yay i randomly like hi hyper fixated and i cleaned all of his cabinets like who does that i told logan that i like cleaning other people's houses but not my own but i don't want to like do the basic chores i want to do like the fun ones so i like cleaned his baseboards all of his light switches his doorknobs cleaned the cabinets like the most obscure tasks but i had a good time 
Well, I'm on quite the cleaning kick. I literally came outside to my yard now and I'm pulling weeds. That's where we're at. Oh my gosh, it's like 90 degrees out. I'm dying. Whew. Good thing I curled my hair today. I just like sprayed for weeds, sprayed for bugs, cleaned my garage, pulled some weeds. I don't know what cleaning bug that I got, but I've just been on one. I think ever since I saw that spider in my closet, I was like, I must clean my entire house now. The equivalent to, or the appropriate equivalent to burning down my home is just cleaning it. So that's what we're doing. Anyway, I'm pretty pooped for today. So I think I'm gonna take a shower and then feed my cats. They're meowing for dinner and then do some reading. I was pretty much out of coffee this morning. I have a grocery pickup today, but I went ahead and made an espresso shot, but it was basically like half a shot. So this is basically flavored milk, but hopefully it's gonna still give me some energy. Um, I think I'm finally done with my cleaning kick. I don't know what just happened to me that I was cleaning basically from the day I got back from South Carolina till today. Even yesterday, I pulled out my stove and like scrubbed behind it. I don't know, I don't know what I was on, okay? But we're done with that now. Anyway, this is so random, but I, I'll talk about it on my book channel, but this book, oh my gosh. I finished reading this over the weekend and it is like one of the best books I've ever read. I give it a four star. I feel like the other books in the series can only go up from here. Anyways, this is my newest life hack. I don't even know if it would be considered a life hack, but we're gonna call it that. It's a salad, a massive salad. I remembered that you can just make a giant salad out of everything that you like because I was in Alabama with my in-laws and they made the best salad I've ever had in my life. And I was like, wait, this hit. So I put chicken and cucumbers and a bunch of really good stuff. And this is so good. And it's healthy, lean protein. And then I use these sugar-free salsa, sal salsas, sugar-free dressings. Uh, this one is sugar-free balsamic vinaigrette. So low calorie and Obviously, I'm not gonna eat this whole thing, but this is what I've been eating for lunch like all week while I was on vacation. The worst part about vacation is I use it as such a time to just like not care what I eat. And like, sure, it's fine, I guess, but I'm really trying to be on like a fat loss era and I'm really trying to have more energy and stuff. And when I eat like crap, it throws me off for not just the days that I eat like that, but for like a week or two weeks after. So anyway, just rediscovered salad is all I'm saying. Wild statement to make it the age of 23. Okay, just put it in a bowl and added the dressing. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Mmm, so good. Yep. So a little update on my digital closet. <laughs> it's not going good. So I still have all the pictures of the shirts in my phone, but I haven't found an app, mostly because I haven't looked, that I can upload them all to for free. I'll probably look into that. Honestly, I'll probably do that like on my trip to Canada, so that won't even be in this video. But then part of me is like, I literally got rid of so many clothes that I don't even think I need like the digital closet because I can just see all my clothes. So that's good. Okay, it's time for me to go to the gym and then take all this to good health. So many clothes. <sighs> I just got so stressed I, like about so many things. Got a lot going on in my head, but anybody else like this, when I'm too stressed, I can't do anything because if I start doing something, all I'm going to think about is all the things I'm stressed about. But if I don't do anything, I'm going to be stressed because I have so many things to do. But also a lot of the things I'm stressed about have nothing to do with doing something or it's like something in the future or like, like I just had to try to figure out who's going to wash my cats while we're in Canada because literally my entire family is gone. Some friends volunteered, so shout out to them. Volunteered. I asked them. They said yes. <laughs> uh, then I I realized that we have no one to take us to the airport, but there's Uber, so we can do that. I don't know why I'm stressing about nothing this trip has turned into stress, so hopefully it's a fun time over there. Oh, also, who is picking us up in Toronto? It's a two hour drive from the Airbnb. Called my dad, cause he's there, but he's held driving in Toronto to pick us up, but I'm still like, I don't know why I'm so stressed about all that. Anyways, then one of my clients just like work stress basically. Oh, and also this is the last month I have any clients cause they're all ending their contract after this month because of budget reasons, which I get but now I'm stressed about money so and then this trip is already booked we're we're doing all right we're I'm gonna sit on the couch and do nothing for like 20 minutes <laughs> it's me like two days later and I feel way less stressed I've been checking things off of my to-do list and what did you know the classic solution always works god <laughs> crazy how that works 
Anyway, spend some time with God, feel a lot less stressed, and it's crazy because like, I still don't really know, like, I'm stressed about the same things I'm stressed about, or like, I still have the problems that I was stressed about, but I just like fully trust that like, God's got me and everything's gonna be okay. All I can do is do what I'm supposed to do today, do what I'm supposed to do tomorrow, boom, 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 things will work out. Anyways, I felt like switching up my Bible study area. Usually I do this in my guest room, but it's also my gaming setup in there and it kind of was just giving me the ick or whatever. So I was like, wait, I never use this bay window. It's like covered in cat hair also. So I set up a little like floor sitting situation and I'm gonna read my Bible in my windowsill. I feel like this is so cute. Like the light coming in is so pretty. I've got my iced coffee, my Bible, stuff to take notes. So let's do some Bible reading. I think I'm gonna wrap up this video. I've had a lot of fun doing a little bit more like casual vlogging, kind of like I used to. So I'm probably just gonna pick up tomorrow with like packing and getting ready for my trip and then maybe a travel day or something. I love it. I love just hanging out with you guys like your besties. So if you also enjoy that, then subscribe, like this video, turn on notifications, all of that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.